Today is May the 27th, I believe. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's Saturday. I'm up here at my dad's 40 acres called D40. We are back to working on the cabin today. I got the boys and Miss Abby way in the background back there also up here helping me today. We are setting beams and building the floor and floor joists today. So we've got a big load from Lowe's coming. The boys are just getting started drilling holes for those concrete piers that we set. It's been 28 days since we set those piers. And so we're ready to get started and get building on this sucker. to the end. There we go. Good. What? Why is it short? Because Aaron's probably all the way on it. You don't need yeah, full back. Well, we've already screwed up, unfortunately. We have our piers set for 16 by 20 center, so that put them all actually too far apart for us to set everything in the middle of the pier. So we had to adjust our size from 20 by 16 to 16, six by 20 and a half inch. <laughs> oh, plus we have to cut four of our anchor bolts back out that we've already got set. Our first line, they're wrong, they're not gonna be set up right so I sent Aaron and Abby to the store to get a whole box more of them so we can cut these off so hopefully this all works out with our recalculation yeah it doesn't want to stay on there very good The Lowe's guy showed up. It's uh, 10.55 now. He showed up about 10 minutes ago. He started unloading a couple loads there. And he's got, I think, just one more load of 16-footers. Those will be for our floor joists. He dropped off shingles, siding, OSB, and uh, an additional Advantech flooring OSB. Didn't do very good. They had the siding on top of the flooring, so I had to have them take that off so we didn't have to manually lift that off. Unfortunately, now they're both exposed, but plus uh, there's damage to this one. It's tore up, a little bit of damage there. Who knows what's up with that? It's not the prettiest thing. Yay, lumber. Expensive lumber.
has to be snug on the bottom. It's not, it's not deep enough, though. Uh, take your hammer and hit the nut, and that could loosen up the threads. There you go. Mm, tighten it down now with the impact. Shouldn't spin anymore. Are you good side to side? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I got it's my mark on. right here. Good? Yeah. I got my mark right here. Did you get the other one? Yeah. Okay. Is there our chalk? Chalk where they try it out and see if it's shit. Yeah, it's all about some good shit, man. Getting our last beam all set here. She's not perfect, that's for sure. And like I said in the beginning, we have no idea what we're doing. We're learning as we go. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah. We are not professionals. If you want to leave us comments of things you think we should do better or different, go right ahead. We'll take all the suggestions you got. Give them to us. You're just catching on oh, this yeah. third one. Yeah. There we go. We've got the good side too. Yeah. So I say we push it all the way this way. Or no. That's what we did. Yep. Yeah. Well, day one of getting our flooring all framed up and everything, we finally got it all square and level. And we'll be back tomorrow to hopefully have a floor by the end of the day. Dogs are always here to greet us when we show up. What's up, Chief? Hey, buddy. It's Chief, and that's Nova. We're going to get all set up for the day here. Just showed up. It is 8.45, 8.47.
Give us a status update, AJ. I'd say we're about two thirds of the way of getting our floors put in. Floor joists. Floor joists. And we've just been going slowly but surely, making sure everything's level. And we've been having to put in some shims to make sure everything sits flush and level, but it's looking pretty good so far. Nice job. Well, day two. Good job, AJ. We worked on the floor all for, what, six hours? And it looks pretty now. It's just needs to put the Advantech OSB, it's a tongue and groove up on top of there. And then we'll be able to start framing our walls. So we'll get to that probably about this time next week. We'll holler at you about then. Well, it's Sunday, June the 4th. The boys and I just got up to D40 and we are hoping to lay our Advantech flooring today. Hoping to have a flooring to walk around on and either tomorrow or Tuesday, AJ and I are gonna start building some walls out here. So it's gonna get really hot today. We're just gonna knock this out hopefully and go home and jump in the pool it's actually still nice outside right now we're just getting here it's uh 9 15. this one's solid this one's got a little bit of spring to it hmm yep that one's also got a bit of spring to it yep. yeah just put one on the opposite corner yeah huh? let's put one on the opposite corner so it won't move that's the one that really bows up, huh? I don't know. Make sure it's all on there correct. Where's your level? Oh. Make sure all of these are level. All the ones that we've been doing. How's that one? Perfect. Still perfect. Perfect. Looks good to me. Yep, and you're sitting down? Yep, and no wobble. So. Okay, yeah, put one on the top, put the one on this opposite side. Boys are going through, and these are called hurricane ties. They prevent lifting and wind picking up the, wind picking up the structure so we're just putting one in here on each one shims in here to get it all nice and level and everything just got a few left and then we'll be laying our advantech We're moving along slowly but surely. We're on sheet number two. We get to start using whole sheets for the three middle rows. Since Andy messed up the dimensions, we had to cut sheets and had to put in five extra sheets. Thank you. 
boys are working hard. Look at that. We are nearing completion. We are on the last row. It's been a long, hot day. We were hoping we would be done about, I don't know, three hours ago. <laughs> the last piece, how do you feel about it? I'm ready to go shower or jump in the pool. Definitely, I feel that. You got any words, AJ? Almost done. Yeah. Almost done.